today is the day. Prince here. It is quite early. i um, about to take my boy Ojun on a walk. We just had our little breakfast. And then I'm going to take my bike in to see Mitsu. I just wanted to show you real quick. Let's see if I can. Come on. This is how early it is. Sun's now coming up over there. Colors aren't going to be as beautiful as they are in person. Oj, you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Come on, let's go. Morning, everyone. Welcome back to Life on Two. Prince here, just checking in. Today, we're going to be going to take my motorcycle into Bartels to get a little bit of parts put on it, parts I've been waiting for for a while, parts that are going to really finish the bike together for me. But first, you know, we have to get our walk in. So come with me on this walk. Hopefully, it motivates you to go out and do your own walk and then stick along for the ride. Man, those colors are looking mighty pretty. Let me hook you guys up. Damn, look at that, okay. What's up, my boy? Trying to sniff around, eat some more poop from different animals. So, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of my walk with OG this morning. Just to let you guys know that you should be getting out there and doing some type of physical activity every day, you know? Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a, a heavy workout or a sweaty workout or anything like that. It's just gotta be a nice little brisk walk. Whatever you can do for that day, at least you got it done that day. Maybe the next day, you'll get something else done. But it starts with today, you know? So back to the video and um, I'll see you guys on the road. Woo! Good morning, YouTube. It is very cold. We are on our way to Bartels. Hope you enjoyed our little walk this morning. And, uh, oh, doggy. Um, I'm a little upset, all right? Let me close this so I can chat with you all. Oh, I guess we need to pull that out. All right, push that back. Now, allow me to chat with you guys. Um, I don't know where it's what, to be honest, but I uh, went to Death Valley in November for Mike's birthday ride. And I got a really cool patch that I was supposed to put on. Cause like, you know, you're supposed to patch up the places you've been. And I was supposed to take it in today to get stitched on, but I can't find a goddamn patch. And I'm pretty upset about that. You know what I mean? Cause uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. The other thing is too, is because I wanted to put my patches on, I rode in, a, in my lighter jacket, like, you know, this is not for summer, whoa, but it's also not for, uh, it's definitely not for right now, because it is chilly, so I'm hoping today with the, woo, with the uh, windshield, that should alleviate some of my problems with that, um, as I've been saying, very excited to, you know, complete the build if you will for most of the big parts it'll just be minor little touch-ups here and there maybe some uh, performance upgrades later but for the most part like aesthetically it's almost done or functionality it's almost done she's almost done looking very very excited to it so right now I'm freezing because I'm getting all this wind in my chest and my arms and it's cold and there's a water reservoir right here, and I think that also makes me a little chillier. But this ride isn't too long, so hopefully we'll get there with enough time, and we we'll go. I'm bringing my camera, so I've got all my camera gear on the back once again. And I've uh, put a water bottle in it, uh, what I thought was gonna be a good position. Turns out it's not, because it's just uh, jamming into my back. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I'm freezing. It's very cold, jeez. But hopefully we'll make it there. It's not too long of a ride. I'm gonna go grab some coffee from Chick-fil-A while Mitsu's working on my bike. And uh, we'll have a good day. We'll have a good day. Uh, but I do enjoy riding this here motorcycle uh, quite a lot, quite a lot. 
And uh, you'll see, because now that I don't have that engine guard, it makes coming in for the lane splitting, like, easy. I'm not even worried about it anymore, you know what I mean? Just excuse me, fellas. Post up. Uh, beautifully, easily broke. Yeah, move that tab forward. Yeah, this water bottle is killing my back. I'm gonna have to show it to you guys when I get there. But damn, so one of the biggest issues that I've been dealing with lately is there is a, you know, when you're moving, there's wind. So you're a lot colder. But when you're not, there's no wind and it's very hot. So it's a dealing between like, I'm gonna be off the bike, am I gonna be hot? Versus I'm gonna be on the bike, am I gonna be cold? And the answer is more than likely I'm going to be cold because I never take the appropriate measures to be warm. Like I'm not even wearing thermals right now. Just a short sleeve shirt, not even a hoodie. Man. So it's about 30 minutes later, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, and uh, there's another car out there somewhere. Nope, I'm not your mind playing tricks on me. But so it sucks is I'm gonna go drop my bike off. Woo! Let me slow down. So as I was saying, excuse me, I'm gonna drop my bike off so Mitsu can get started on it. But I gotta go walk to breakfast because I won't have a ride. And I think breakfast is like I don't know, it's like half a mile, but I already did my walk, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be in motorcycle gear, so I don't wanna do that. That was almost an accident right there. I'm still very cold, but to be honest, it gets to a point where the cold just becomes numb, and I don't think you get any colder than that. So, we are here in the beautiful Marina Del Rey. I used to live in those buildings over there. Damn, I don't know if y'all saw that thing on the road, but I almost ran over that shit. And we're here. The water bottle in my back has destroyed me. I do enjoy a good lane split, not gonna lie. Makes me feel good about myself. Scary ones don't though. That was bold. That was really bold. I don't know if you guys, I mean, you definitely saw that. So I'll just let you Dang, look at this. This is like perfect for the Los Angelino traffic, huh? I damn near should have cut over there. F it's all good. We ain't got no engine guard. So we gonna walk through, come back up. Uh, hello. Look at that. Look at that. We're still moving. We did put our feet on the ground. So a little upset about that, but it's okay. It's okay. The bag feels, that's a cool Mustang. A little Shelby there bag feels pretty secure and here we are at the world-renowned beautiful Bartels Harley-Davidson yes they are open it's just early hopefully my peoples is here they know that I'm ready we're just gonna go for a quick little park Woo! let's see if I can go see what's up to Mitsu real quick So, anyways, real quick, just gonna show you. That's the water bottle that was sticking in my bag, or my back. So that's gotta change. So, we need a mask up here. And I take you all in to the spot. Whew.
So here's the situation, people. I'm not using the mic, so the audio is probably going to be very bad. It is late. It is dark. And I thought I had some clear glasses with me, but I don't because I brought the camera bag. So the ride back is going to be something else tonight. I'm not going to film it. I'm going to have to continue this video on the next day. But hopefully, you know, I'll have a lot more to say then.